if you're worried about whether you're providing value to people in your in your work, um, those of us watching this are, you know, solopreneurs, and we're worried: are we providing enough value to our audience, to our clients, to our students? If, if we're teaching courses, let me assure you that the answer is impossible to answer <laughs> because you will never be able to hear from everybody you're providing value to. I think this is really important to understand. If you have 10 clients, even if you beg them for feedback, not all 10 clients are gonna give you feedback, right? And if, if you're lucky and eight out of 10 clients gave you feedback, not all of them are gonna give you feedback in the way that you hoped for or whatever. I mean, I mean, let's say eight of them gave you feedback out of 10, which is really high number, by the way. Right. Well, what's the right number? I don't know. I mean, you, you'll just get better at asking for feedback over time and you'll get you'll get more. Um, uh, you, you'll you'll be more lenient on yourself in, in regards to how many people must give feedback and what kind of feedback must they give you. I've learned this over many years. So not everyone's going to give you feedback. Uh, certainly when you're when you're teaching a class. Right. You can't expect if you have 30 students, you can't expect all 30 students to give you feedback unless somehow it was required to graduate a program or something like that. Right but most of us can't require that of our students or of our clients or certainly of our audience. When you're posting on social media, do you expect that all hundred people who read it are gonna give you feedback? No, we're lucky. We're lucky if we reach hundred people on social media and 10 of them like our post. Have you noticed 10% is pretty damn good. 10 out of hundred liking a post is pretty damn good. Um, sometimes only five out of hundred will like a post. Sometimes only one out of hundred will like a post. Sometimes out of a thousand people, nobody comments. Nope, not one, not one comment. So how do we know we're providing value? We don't. So this is the bottom line. You have to, you, you have to actually ask the question differently. You can't ask, am I providing value? You have to ask in a, an occasional way, once a month or once a quarter, you look back at your stats so this is how you know you're providing value or not. You can't be asking for every course you teach, for every session you did for the client, with every uh, post you make. You can't ask that. That's, that's, that will drive us to be much more perfectionistic and much more resisting our work than we need to. Okay? What we need to do in terms of seeing whether we're providing value is to look at it on an occasional basis, once a month or once a quarter or once a year, whatever data you can gather to say, did I provide more value this quarter than last quarter? How do I know? How do I know? So for example, with social media posts, you can look at the data to say, okay, over the past month, as I look at the posts I made, the question is not, did I provide value? The question is, which of the many things I put out there provided the, mo the most value? And therefore, how can I keep doing more of that? You see what I mean? It's not, did I provide value? It's, which of the many things you will, you will analyze it occasionally provided the most value and which provided the least. And so now it informs me, what do I do more of and what do I do less of going forward? So I hope this is helpful.